she follows rakesh order when it comes to the father's diet mr bhatia is an old neighbor of rakesh and he was a companion of mr one he was adoring america but he adores his family more he is the son of varma varma was a kerosene dealer in this story hello everyone i am dr shalini professor of english vidyashram first grade college the temple of excellence mysore today we are here to understand one of the lessons prescribed by university of mysore for second sem bca today we are going to understand a devoted son written by anita desai let us see what is there in today's session we are going to understand about the author first then we will move on to the theme we'll understand the characters that are there in the story later we'll move on to the summary of the story let us begin with the introduction of the author she is anita desai who was a great indian novelist she was born anita mazumdar but later she changed her name to anita desai she was the emerita john e wachard professor of humanities at the massachusetts university of technology that has been a great honor on uh, anita desai she as a writer has been shortlisted for booker prize thrice though she did not win one she is on the advisory board of this lalit kala academy and also a fellow of the royal society of literature in london that was a very short introduction of the author let us see what is the theme of this story the story shows how parents put in their hard efforts and they cherish the ambition towards their children what i could not become my child should become is what the parents think and how a son will fulfill the dreams of his parents is the theme of this story this story captures the contemporary indian life during that time so let us see what which are the characters that are there in this story so the first character is rakesh and rakesh is the protagonist of the story he is the son of varma varma was a kerosene dealer in this story so this uh, rakesh was very well behaved he was very dutiful son what is dutiful or duteous he was very obedient you can say so he was a very well behaved student and also he was a very brilliant student who goes and becomes a doctor he has an opportunity to continue his practice in the us but he doesn't do so he was patriotic he wanted to come back to india and he wanted to make a difference in the society so he takes up a job in uh, india itself so he supervises every bit of food that was served to his father at a later stage of this story so he medicates him for every small complaint so whatever small complaint his father had all that was addressed by rakesh that is dr rakesh the next character comes is veena veena is actually a minor character she was a simple fat indian girl that is a typical indian woman you can consider she was the wife of rakesh and she was married by wish of his mother so rakesh's mother wanted him to marry this veena and as per her wish as per her will he marries veena she was very loyal and also dutiful by nature she was like rakesh only very loyal to the family as well as her husband she follows rakesh's order when it comes to the father's diet so she was she used to follow everything all the instructions properly so this is the second character veena which is a minor character next we move on to mr varma who is varma varma was an oil seller at a depot and he was the father of rakesh he puts hard efforts to educate his son and he is proud of his son's achievement later considers his son as a tyrant who is a tyrant a person who behaves like a dictator is called as a tyrant so he considers his son like that only because his son he supervises all the complete diet that was given to his father when his father was losing on his health so this is mr varma he is also a major character in the story 
Next comes Bhatia. Mr. Bhatia is an old neighbor of Rakesh and he was a companion of Mr. Varma. He participates in Rakesh's family conversation. Mr. Bhatia just comes and participates in his uh, family conversation and also the activities. Somebody who is very well versed with the family, who is very close to the family you can consider. So that was Mr. Bhatia. Mr. Bhatia used to live next door and he joins Verma to sit outside his house, have a conversation in the evenings and also complain about Rakesh's treatment towards his father and he used to complain about how badly he is treated. So they used to sit and complain about the hardships that they were facing. So this was the discussion between them that was going on. So that was Mr. Bhatia. Then we have Rakesh's children. Rakesh's children are unnamed in this story. So they are not given any names. They are actually the minor characters. They come in one or two places, that's it. So they used to pass time with Rakesh's father and uh, they had a very cordial relationship with Rakesh's father. That means their grandfather. So Mr. Varma is actually, uh, he is able to convince one of these children to get some extra food. So Varma was not allowed to have extra food and sweets kind, uh, kind of stuff whenever he uh, was not feeling well. That is Rakesh, uh, oh, I told you, Rakesh supervised the diet that was given to Mr. Varma. But he used to convince one of his grandchildren and he used to get some extra food. So this is an introduction of characters that are there in this story. Now we'll move on to the summary. This is a very easy story, easy reading. That is what Anita Desai is famous for. Once you start reading the story, it will just take you to the end of the story like a cakewalk. It is very easy for you to understand her uh, language. So this is one such story. The story revolves around a boy or a man you can consider that is Dr. Rakesh. So Rakesh who goes to become Dr. Rakesh and how he treats back his uh, parents. So that is the actual theme of this story. So he was uh, from a poor Indian family. So you understand what is uh, a poor Indian family or what is an Indian village boy, uh, what does an Indian village boy mean? So he was finding it very difficult for them to afford for a uh, high class school. So that kind of a family he used to come from. Uh, his father, Mr. Verma, was working as an oil vendor in one of the depots nearby. So this was the family of Rakesh and Mr. Verma had a wife. Okay. So this was the family there and Rakesh was the first person in the family to attend college. So there are many families in India like this wherein there is only one person who has stepped into college and whatever degree they achieve even with a lesser percentage they are very proud of it because that is the only person who has completed a uh, graduation or maybe a post graduation kind of thing. So this family also one such family wherein Rakesh the only person in the family uh, he had entered the college he had completed also. So he completed his medical exams with the highest marks. So he has got the highest scores uh, all over India. He was the topper there. So he got good marks and he had cleared the medical exam. So Varma informs everybody about his son's achievement. So whoever asked about his son, he used to tell about his son's achievement. Whoever came and asked about Rakesh, he used to tell them about his achievement in medical exams. He used to tell them, talk to them about his grades. So he was very famous. So he also told them that uh, his son Rakesh would be going to America to pursue his studies uh, very soon. Many of them uh, scared him also uh, telling that he might forget his roots. Maybe uh, they were uh, afraid. So uh, like they told uh, this one Varma that if, if suppose you allow him to go out of India, he will forget his roots. He will not come back to India. So that is not the way you have to treat a son. Don't send him. He will forget the parents also. So all these things they tell him. But Varma is determined to send his son to America for higher studies. Yes, even uh, Rakesh had decided to go to higher studies, get a degree and come back to India and he wanted to do some kind of service to the society. He wanted to bring a change in the society. So though many of them 
uh, scared Verma about Rakesh forgetting his roots. Verma was not scared at all. He was able to send his son to America for higher studies. So Rakesh spends considerable time in America. He does very well, he fares well and he completes his degree also. So he has completed his medical degree in America also. Though uh, he gets offer, job offers from major hospitals that is in US, he does not uh, accept that. Okay, so initially he does not accept that but later there were many awards that were given to Rakesh and they were written that is sent to his family to preserve. So whatever awards he used to get there because of his higher grades and the offers that you, he got from these US hospitals he used to send it to India for to their to his parents to preserve that. So now he is full with uh, offers in the US. Now he was adoring America but he adores his family more. So he intends to return home soon. Now what he does, he has considerable amount of offers, job offers at the US hospitals, uh, very uh, leading hospitals. So what he does, he takes up a job, initially he does not agree but later on he takes up a job, he gets good experience and then he wants to return home. So since he adores his family more, he is planning to come back to India and he wanted to stay with his family. So he gets a good exposure, he gets a good experience in those hospitals, then he shifts back to India. Here he marries a local girl with little schooling but his father was against it. His father always used to say you must have high dreams, you must have very high dreams that means your level should be something high, not like coming back to roots. Do not behave like a village person, you have to have high roots. Is it it's okay even if you leave us here and go to America with your wife but the wife should be somebody who has who is well educated or uh, she has to be supportive in your uh, profession but um, Rakesh does not believe in all those he feels the lady who has a less schooling will be obedient and will be loyal. So that is the reason he according to his mother's wish marries a local girl called Veena. So she was also very supportive in his job. She does everything loyally and dutifully. So that was about the marriage with that girl. Then he works, he starts working in a city hospital. Now he has resigned for his job in the US and he comes back to a city hospital. So he is working in India now, he works in a city hospital. So the environment was totally different from that of the US hospitals. This was totally opposite. The cleanliness, the systematic way of working in the US hospitals, it's actually completely different over here in the uh, in Indian hospitals. So here is what he thinks that he wants to make a difference in his community. He wanted to contribute something to the society. So that's the reason he has come to India. Now he looks at the plight of Indian hospitals, then he starts feeling that he wants to give some change to his community. So he plans for that, he starts planning for that and he starts working on it. So with his hard work, he eventually rises to become a director of this city hospital. Now he is working in a low grade that is uh, just a doctor. Later on because of his hard work, his responsibilities increase and he becomes a director of that city hospital. Now. His mother dies, she was not well because of ill health she dies and uh, Mr. Varma becomes very upset now. He is uh, too low nowadays. So later what happens, Rakesh does not have much time to dedicate to his family only because his responsibilities have increased now. So now he has no time to spend with his own family, his wife, his uh, kids and also uh, the family has expanded, his father is also with him but he has no time to dedicate for that family. He does not want to lose his father soon, that is because his father was already low. So his father was heartbroken and he was uh, too much uh, obsessed with the thoughts of his wife. But at the same time Rakesh did not want to lose his father soon. So he takes care of every minute detail of what his father eats, what his father drinks, what his father does, everything. So uh, his father was like a small child for Rakesh now. So now he was uh, very possessive about his father. So that is the reason he takes utmost care of him. He sees to it that he does not slip away from his hands. 
he forbids Varma from eating sweets. So he stops Varma from eating sweets. That's because he didn't want to give a chance for Varma to lose his health. His condition should not deteriorate. It's not that Varma was not feeling well, but Rakesh didn't want to give a chance to Varma to fall sick. So that's the reason he stops him from eating sweets. But Varma tries to get sweets from his grandson. Somehow he sneaks in some extra food from his grandson. This actually upsets Rakesh. Rakesh could not tolerate this and he tells his wife to take care of that. Okay. So Rakesh always wanted his son to have a very cordial relationship with his father. Rakesh had a very good relationship with his father. Isn't it? Rakesh was a very dutiful son, a very devoted son and the same way he wanted his son also. That means Rakesh wanted his own son to have a very cordial relationship with the son's grandfather. Okay, So he wanted that relationship to be cordial. So he didn't tell the son not to bring sweets. Instead, he tells his wife Veena to take care of that. Okay, So he didn't want to spoil the relationship there. but here uh, now Rakesh has tried to uh, supervise that. Okay, So Rakesh has taken Veena's help to supervise that. So Veena also very carefully takes care of her father-in-law. In the end Rakesh understands that whatever he has done, everything is done for his father. Whatever possible from his end he has done for his father. But uh, Varma actually tries to get in sweets and all. Somehow he tries to, he feels that Rakesh has become a kind of dictator. He is a tyrant is what the father starts feeling. Okay. So now in the end when uh, Varma was about to leave, that is uh, he was about to uh, lose his life that time, that is he was about to die, Rakesh understands that whatever possible from his end as a son, he has done everything for him. So he is satisfied with the duty carried over towards his father. So he is satisfied now and uh, when, when he lost his father also, he was not much disturbed because the duty what he has done towards his father was complete. It was dedicatedly done is what he feels about his father. So this was the summary of a devoted son by Anita Desai. So go through this video, then read the story, you will be understanding better. So please have some quotes and all when you, whenever you answer the questions, please write some quotes also that will help you to fetch more marks. So that's it. Let us meet again in another more interesting session. Thank you for your time. Keep learning. See you soon. Bye-bye.